Thanks, Mark. Loading up on fruits and vegetables apparently doesn't help breast cancer from recurring, so says a new study out of UCSD. It found that the widely held theory that women could prevent the return of breast cancer by doubling up on the amount of fruit and veggies every day doesn't really help. So joining us with more on this is Dr. John Pierce, and you are the Director of Cancer Prevention at Moore's Cancer Center out of UCSD. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. And yeah, you, we were just talking in the break, and you were talking about how people need to work their way up to double the amount of fruits and veggies. Is that, can you explain what, really what the study well, it, found? It's fairly clear that uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables every day is, is beneficial for a lot of things, including breast cancer. Uh, and the question was, and breast can if you look at if you look at fruits and vegetables, they have a lot of uh, weak anti-carcinogens in them, a lot of different products. And the question was, if we increase these, if we really uh, ramp them up, uh, will that protect people from having additional breast cancer events? Uh, and so we've done a huge study on this, and the answer is no. So what you about the study itself, self, how many women were involved in this study and uh, how long did it take place? We started enrolling women in 1995. Uh, we enrolled about 3,000, just over 3,000 women. Um, we randomized them into two groups where one group uh, was asked to follow the five to seven a day diet. Women who came in the study already were eating very well. They were already eating the five to seven a day diet. Uh, and then we asked one group to actually double that. So uh, why do this study? What uh, questions were you trying to answer for well, breast, women? breast cancer is a constellation of diseases. We know that. Uh, and anything that women can do to reduce their risk of recurrence is, is a really big thing. Uh, and so the, the question of, of whether these weak anti-carcinogens in the food uh, were if you really increase the amount of fruits and vegetables, would you prevent uh, disease is something that a lot of people have been interested in. Uh, it's, it's one it offered the potential of a therapy you could do yourself. Uh, and so, so that was why we were investigating it. Also, obviously, the potential for, for further treatments if something was clearly working. Now, I, everyone's been talking about this, obviously, for the past couple of days. It's mm. been on, on the radio and, and television, as you know. You've been talking mm. a lot about it. And, uh, you know, I, I heard somebody on the radio say yesterday, well, this is just another one of those studies, uh, you know, butter versus margarine, you know, kind of putting it in that category of you think something works and then it doesn't. You know, what, uh, what would you say? That obviously for women who eat the five servings, don't stop. You know, continue to uh, be healthy. And Well, we... we published the first part of this study a, a month ago uh, where we looked at women in the comparison group, the ones we didn't ask to change. Uh, and those who did five to seven servings a day uh, of fruits and vegetables and exercised 30 minutes a day, they had a 40% reduction in their breast cancer risk. Uh, so this is really a significant reduction. The answer here is you don't need to do more than that. So it's everything in moderation. So take your, what the guidelines are, five servings, and leave it at that. Yes. It is what the, the, the guidelines are pretty well uh, <laughs> established, and, and, they've, and they work. So with these findings, what happens next? Is this study over? Is there, what's, what's going to happen from here? Well, no. Uh, we know that there's gene-environment interactions, and we're expecting that there's a subgroup of women who really did benefit from in increasing their vegetables and fruits that way. And we're also looking at... Uh, at other components of, of the gene environment interaction. Uh, you know, we, we have a lot of, inf these women gave us a lot of information. They were very helpful over a long period of time. And so we'll be teasing that out over the next year or so. Okay, Dr. John Pierce, thanks so much for joining us this morning. And for more information, go to fox6.com.